Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Jack Nelson Palmeyer. I'm standing here with family and friends to announce my candidacy to replace Norm Coleman in the United States Senate. For, for too long, we have been divided by a politics of fear. It is time to unite around a courageous politics of hope. Let me, let me introduce my family. My wife, Sarah, my mother, Audrey, my daughters, Hannah and Naomi. I have a couple of brothers here, Jim and Judd Nelson, and my middle daughter, Audrey, You'll like where she is. She's in Washington, D.C., fighting against the Bush administration's failed trade policies. <laughs> Friends, this is an urgent time. Jim Henson, NASA's lead environmental scientist, says the decisions we make in the next 10 years will determine the quality of life for all future generations. This is a time that requires political courage, honesty, and hope. For six years, Norm Coleman has been a cheerleader as core American values have been trampled. Our nation, once admired for justice, is now known for torture. In 2008, we send Norm Coleman packing. Yeah! Mine is a Minnesota story. I was born in Minneapolis. I grew up in Coon Rapids. I went to college in Northfield at St. Olaf. My fondest memories are time spent at Big Pine Lake near Brainerd in the cabin built by my grandfather and my father. I worked for the Lutheran Church in Minnesota, combating hunger. Sarah and I worked for Augsburg College in Central America. Our children attend public schools. And for the past 13 years, I've taught justice and peace studies at the University of St. Thomas. I'm running for Senate because I, like many Minnesotans, am worried about the future of my family and the future of our country. I want to bring some sanity, honesty, and courage to Washington. My youngest daughter, Naomi, turned 15 on Sunday. Naomi, I remember when you were three. She went through a period where she'd wake up in the middle of the night and she'd yell out, Dad! And I'd race out of bed and go by her bedside to comfort her. And the last time this happened, when I asked her what was wrong, her answer almost broke my heart. She looked up at me and said, Dad, my dreams are full of troubles. A three-year-old with troubled dreams. Well, I'm glad to say that Naomi's been fine ever since. <laughs> but I thought about Naomi's words these past six months as I've traveled and listened to Minnesotans. Minnesota families are bearing the brunt of and eagerly awaiting the end of the most disastrous administration in U.S. history. Yeah. Our dreams are troubled. We hear about global warming and we wonder what kind of world are we leaving our children and our grandchildren? We're concerned as class sizes rise and, and health care costs soar. Our infrastructure is crumbling. And we are sick and tired of having all our hopes and dreams held hostage to the Iraq War. As I've held community meetings all over this state, DFLers and other Minnesotans have urged me to enter this race. Here's why. Minnesotans do have troubled dreams, but we're ready to honestly face our problems, and we expect and demand courageous leaders. In 2008, with your help and the help of thousands of Minnesotans, I will defeat Norm Coleman. Now, as a Democrat, I also must tell you that Minnesotans are very clear. They are demanding more courageous leadership from Democrats. Yeah. We can all learn a lesson in courage from Paul Wellstone. 
Paul had a bad back, but he had a really strong political spine. Standing outside Norm Coleman's office, which used to be Paul Wellstone's office, I say to all Minnesotans, I have never in my life held my finger to the wind to decide what to say or do. I'm the only DFL candidate that was asked to debate Congressman Jim Ramstead before the Iraq war started. I said then we were being lied to. I said then that we were being manipulated by a well-crafted politics of fear. I said then that the Bush administration was leading us into a pre-planned war for oil. I said then that the war would be a disaster for Iraq and for the United States. Minnesotans, we may not always agree, but I promise to listen, and you will always know exactly where I stand. How do we address our troubled dreams and also realize our hopeful ones? By acting courageously together and by electing courageous leaders. Together, we can solve problems, right? Yeah. Acting with courage, acting with courage, we will end George Bush and Norm Coleman's war and prevent the next needless war. Yeah. We, we will make sure that returning vets who work bravely to accomplish a mission they should never have been sent on get the care that they need and deserve. We will help our nation reach out to the world with a spirit of generosity and compassion to help solve pressing problems. <laughs> Acting with courage and hope, we will forge a national single-payer health care system focused, focused on prevention and on comprehensive care. We will provide quality public education for all of our children, preschool through university. We will welcome immigrants to their new home and refuse to scapegoat those who have fled violence and dictatorship. Yeah. Acting with courage and hope, we will treat poverty as a scandal and take the steps necessary to end it. Yeah. We will make the minimum wage a living wage and ensure that workers can freely organize unions. Yeah. Acting with courage and hope, we will honestly confront global warming and peak oil, and we will produce the windmills, the solar panels, and the best public transit systems in the world right here in the state of Minnesota. <laughs> Acting with courage and hope, we will measure our security by the health of our people, the vitality of our communities, the strength of our family farms, and the fairness and sustainability of our economy. I am a Democrat, but I stand here today and invite all Minnesotans, join me in this campaign of courage, honesty, and hope. In this most important decade, everyone is welcome. Everyone is needed. Our work begins now. Friends, start up those cell phones. We are launching, we are launching the largest mobile phone bank in Minnesota history. Let, let's begin calling Minnesotans in all 87 counties. We want to listen to their concerns. We want to share our hope and our vision. And we want to invite them to join our campaign to address urgent problems, to defeat Norm Coleman, and to send Jack Nelson Pallmeyer to the U.S. Senate. Thank you. Thank you. Jack, you got Jack, Jack. Jack.